it happened right up the street from my house. And um, the girl, she just came and she was like, um, she had a sign and she, asked, she was asking for help because she had a baby. And um, I was in the back seat, so I wasn't really paying anything any mind until I seen um, someone actually approach the car. And then that's when, you know, it just all just happened so fast. And now she's gone. So you were driving? My father was driving. My father, um, her husband was driving. We were at a stop sign. She's, um, I mean, he's, he's just a mess right now. So I've been with him. Like, this is the same outfit I had on. Like, I haven't been home because I live in Baltimore. But I just have to support my father because I don't know if he'll try to kill himself or anything. He loved her so much. Like, it's pictures all throughout the house of them. Like, I just don't want him to be alone and have something happen to him, you know. So where were you that night? Let's start from the beginning. You were okay. where? You were so, celebrating your birthday. Yes, the VFW is up in West Baltimore. It's like off of McMeekin and, and Druid. Okay. Um, it looks like a regular row house. Right, that most of them do. Right? Yeah, cool. but we had an awesome time. We danced and uh, we took pictures. We had a great time because I don't get to spend as much time with my family as I, as I like because I'm a, a musician. So, um, you know, I appreciate and I cherish any time that we get to, you know, get together. And they were dropping you off at they home? They were dropping me off back home. And, um, yeah, like, it just happened just like that. Just like that. And, and now she's gone. And you were in the car? Yes. And I was in the back seat in the car when it happened. And, um, you know, as immediately after it happened, we, we went to the hospital and, and she was gone. They worked on her for like two hours and she was she was gone. And she wasn't even like, she wasn't even 50. I don't, but she was 50. 54. She was 54. Like she was a young, she's the nicest woman that you could ever meet in your life. She was just a beautiful person, and she didn't deserve for this to happen to her. You know, it's been all over the news. It's just, it's f***ed up because, like... <laughs> I'm trying to be strong for my father, but I can't do it. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. I've never seen anyone die right in my face before. I just want them to find, if anybody knows anybody, if anybody has, has any information, please help us and find out who did this to my stepmother, please. Please, and just protect your family. Like, if you love your family, just let them know, because life is too short. We're taking you home. And we were literally two blocks from my home. And the, and your and your stepmom saw this woman and said, "Stop! I want to give her money." Yes. And then take me and, through. Yeah. Then the man. Uh, it was two of them, and the, a guy had came. Um, because I'm in the back seat, so I just anytime anyone approached the car, that's what I remember. And the guy was like, "Can I thank you? You know, can I thank you?" Because she was gonna give them like. I think my father said she took out a 10 or something, like she was gonna really help them out. And he's like, can I thank you? And as he landed the car, he just, he just starts, he just starts stabbing her. He just starts stabbing her. And then they just ran, they took off. And my father got out the car and was chasing them. Like he was trying to chase them. And that's the moment I saw my whole life flash before my eyes because I'm like, my body gets stabbed. Like, how could you just leave me like that? And I'm like, Dad, she's bleeding, you know, like, she's going to go, like, what's going on? And then he came back, and we went to the emergency room. Well, we didn't go to the emergency room. We almost drove through the Dagon Hospital. I don't know exactly where we were at, but the, the officer on the phone, he talked to us the whole way there. Like, he talked us through everything, and, um, like, we've just been getting so much help and support. She was trying to help. And as soon as she rolled down the window? Mm -hmm. No, not not immediately after she rolled down the window. It was it was I, I mean I couldn't even tell you like it just it happened that fast like it, it definitely happened in a split second, you know. And it it makes me look at this whole world differently now, you know. It makes me look at everything and everyone. Nothing is ever what it seems, and you just have to protect your family out here. You gotta protect them. Tell me about Jacqueline. What did she do? Jacqueline, she was a, 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 community, a, a c computer specialist. She was a digital um, a c c uh, 
communications. Uh, she yeah, she was a communications specialist. Okay. She was very smart. Okay. No, yes, out here. She traveled all the time. She was very, very, she was a wonderful woman. Um, I was so happy when my father and her got together because um, they fit. And they, they were in love. They were soulmates. She was just an awesome, she was an awesome woman. She was a powerful woman. Like, I looked up to her, you know, and... and You're still wearing the same clothes you did that night. Yeah, yeah, like, I... Just a I haven't, night, right? Yeah, I haven't been home. I haven't been able to. I'm just in shock, you know? And I just want to make sure that my father is okay. Because, you know, he's never been through this. Now he's a widower. He has he hasn't eaten, he he doesn't sleep, and you know I'm just worried about him. I'm trying to be strong for him. About three blocks away, um, it was a girl out with a like a baby in her arms. It was like drizzling. It was cold, and my wife just felt moved to give her something. So at the stop sign, she waved her over to come on over to the car, and then out of nowhere, some guy came over while walking with her, and um, I hit my window. And Jacqueline went to hand the money out, and the guy just leaned over, said, can I thank your wife? And I said, you can thank my wife. And within that split second, this guy commenced to stab in my wife. He snatched her necklace off her neck, and the girl snatched the pocketbook, and they all both ran, just brought, ran into some basketball court. Um, before I knew it, I jumped out my car to run after him, but then I came back because my wife needed me more. Um, Did you even know she was stabbed at that point? It happened so quick that when I turned, when I looked and seen, what he, all I did was slam it in park to go chase these people. But then when I seen how my wife was screaming, I came back because I, I could have caught one of them. But the police told me that was that wouldn't have been wise to chase a suspect because you don't know where you're running to. So I don't know. I, so I, you didn't even know your wife was hurt until you heard her. Yeah. Screaming? No, no, no. I knew she was stabbed. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, blood was everywhere. It was it was something that it was horrific for something like that to happen. Um, but I'm right now just absorbing all of it, you know, absorbing it all of it and trying to see how I can move past this. But I'm not going to move past this until I talk to whoever my congressman is about banning panhandling. You want the city to make a change. Here. I want you're the already, city. You're already beginning to see that. I'm already seeing it because now from this tragedy with my wife. I don't even look at panhandlers the same way. I look at them as a threat to my life now. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna push for and I'm gonna make it in my wife's name, Jacqueline Smith. She, she didn't die in vain. She didn't die in vain. I'm gonna make sure she didn't. You know, so I just thank all the support I've been getting, all the support that I've been giving me because um, I never would have made this through by myself. Is there anything else you'd like to say? I just want to let uh, Baltimore know to be careful when you feel like you want to give because you don't know what the intentions are of the person that you're giving to.